We are now going to solve for a variable in a formula. And the main reason we want to be able to do this is so if we have some geometric formula or some statistical formula, and we know everything but one piece, it would be really nice to be able to find that value without having to play around with or deal with all the other variables or that variable multiple times. So we want to get the variable by itself. That's our primary goal. Just like solving for an equation for that variable, solving for x like we did earlier. So our first example is going to be the area of a trapezoid. And if you can remember back to your geometry, a trapezoid has two parallel lines with two bases, a little b and a big B, and then the sides. And then there's some height. And the area of a trapezoid is one half height times little b plus big B. And so if we want to solve or big B. So suppose we know the height, and we know the little base, and we know the area. If we want to know how big the other base is, the way we solve for this is to try and get it by itself. So we're going to start with our equation. Again, A equals 1 half H times B, little b plus big B. And we want to get the big B by itself, but because of these parentheses, they get in the way a little bit. So one of the things we're going to do to speed this process up is let's get rid of what's on the outside first. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 over h. And we can see that the 2 divides out and the h divides out. And we're left with 2a over h equals little b plus big B. Okay. The next step is to subtract a little b from both sides. When we do this, we get 2a over h minus little b equals big B, or b equals 2a over h minus b. And again, we may want this to be a single rational, so we'll put an h on the top and the bottom, so we get a common denominator. And so big B equals 2a minus bh all over h. And here's our answer. Likewise, just to look at another example, suppose that we have y equals c plus by plus i plus g plus n. And we're asked to solve for y. Let me make sure these y's match. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to get everything with a y on one side. So we've got to move this by over, so we'll subtract by from both sides. This gives us y minus by equals c plus i plus g plus m. Now on this side, notice that we've got a y in two different pieces. What we need to do is we need to factor that out, which will leave a 1 minus b. Remember, the 1 comes in because when we distribute, we need to get the y back c plus i plus g plus n. Divide both sides by 1 minus b. And y equals c plus i plus g plus n all over 1 minus b. And we've now solved this original equation for y.